this stuffed salmon roll is creamy and delicious and I know you'll love it. Let's make some. If your salmon filet comes with skin, you want to start by removing the skin. What you're going to do is cut a small slip at the thin side. You're going to pull the skin one way and push your knife the opposite way. As you are moving your knife forward, you are slowly going to pull the skin in the opposite direction. Allow your knife to do the work. I continually check to make sure there is no meat on the skin and voila, there you go. You have effectively removed the skin and now it's time to slice your fillets in appropriate portions. Next, it's time to cut our fillets into one strip. You're going to take your knife and try as closely as possible to cut it in half and stopping right at the very end so you'll have one strip. Let me show you again. You're going to try to slice halfway through and stop at the very end so your fillet opens up into one strip. Now it's time to season this. We are going to season our salmon strips with salt, some black pepper, some garlic powder, and then some paprika. And the paprika is going to add a beautiful color. Make sure you season front and back. We're going to allow these to sit to get to room temperature. Let's get started on our filling. To an oil hot skillet, you are going to add one shallot and you want to cook this until the shallot is nice and tender then you're going to add your garlic and you just want to saute the garlic for a couple of minutes because garlic can burn quickly and burned garlic is not delicious then you are going to add your spinach remember spinach wilts very very quickly and you think you might have a lot and then it turns into very little once it's all cooked so two cups of spinach will be ideal once everything is all incorporated, it's time to remove and we're going to season this up. We're going to season with salt and pepper and then we are going to add the creamy cream cheese. I am using whipped cream cheese because it mixes in a lot easier, but feel free to use regular cream cheese. And you can actually use this mixture right now as a dip. This would be a perfect dip with tortillas or chips, but let's use it to stuff our salmon. You're going to take the filling and you want to load the salmon strips up. I am putting approximately three to four tablespoons of filling on each filet. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Load these up. This is where a lot goes a long way. Here comes the fun part. We are going to take the salmon strips and we are just going to roll it. Don't worry about the filling coming out. The cream cheese is holding everything together. You want to roll these loosely. And once they are done being rolled, you are going to take a toothpick and you are going to stick it in the sides. And this is going to make sure that the salmon stays together as they cook. Once you're done putting the toothpick in, it's time to put them in a foiled pan for the oven. And we are going to bake these at 375 for approximately 15 minutes. You want to cover these, but cover them loosely. You don't want that delicious topping sticking to the foil. So once they are loosely covered, go and put them in the oven. And then let's get started on our sauce. This sauce steps these salmon rolls up a notch. So to a skillet, we're going to add some shallot. You're used to shallots because shallot is in our filling. This is called mimicking flavor. You're going to saute the shallot until it's nice and soft. You're going to add approximately one cup of white wine, any dry white wine, and some lemon juice. We don't want sweet white wine. We want dry you're going to add your lemon juice and the wine and you are going to cook this on high until it reduces by half. I would say approximately 
five to six minutes. You see how it's a lot less liquid. This means that it's time to remove it from the heat. We're going to add some freshly chopped parsley and about two tablespoons of butter. The butter is going to bring the sauce together and it's going to make it nice and silky and delicious. We're going to season with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Our sauce is done. Our salmon should be done. Now it's time to plate this up. Let's get it. Your salmon should look exactly like this. Nice, golden, bubbly, and delicious. Use whatever side dish that you want. I am using some orzo. I plated my salmon directly on top of the orzo. And then I'm going to spoon a couple of tablespoons of this beautiful sauce right on top. I'm going to garnish with some parsley. And there you go. Bon appetit. Let's eat.